so today start with uh, one more problem so we solve second problem of centroid uh, i read the problem the given look at the centroid of the channel section shown in the figure the figure is showing here when when you see the figure the figure is of a channel section so the channel section is actually symmetric because it is a uh, consists of three elements 120 20 20 into 60 and 20 into 20 so this channel section now we have to divide into three elements because the channel consists of three elements okay so we'll solve this problem by using centroid have to find the centroid x bar and y bar so now in this diagram you can identify they divided into three elements one two three or you can say three compounds so element number one and here, here in the diagram you draw x and y direction to calculate the uh, x bar and y bar so general equation of x bar y bar we already know so we'll discuss at the end when you're solving this problem so but you just check the position and location of the elements okay so now one by one we have to draw this diagram and we calculate the area we calculate x1 and y1 these are the coordinates of centroid so element 1 so now i draw with the reference of x and y line so element 1 so I, when you draw x and y line and you draw the elements and position should be same as given diagram so now 120 into 20 the given actually for rectangular x bar and y bar we have to find by using the concept is b by 2 or h by 2 so width so according to that first we find the area area how we find the area b is equal to b into h so b is given 120 and h is given 20 so when you multiply this we got the answer is 2400 mm square because mm multiply with mm we got mm square so x1 because this is element 1 we put as x1 is equal to b by 2 the b is given 120 divided by 2 the value is 68 mm similarly we have to calculate y1 y1 is h by 2 so it, the value is 20 divided by 2 will get the 10 mm similarly we have to go for next element element number 2 so which is the element number 2 now Uh, this is element number 2 when you see the element and the position it is actually present above element 1 the distance y bar distance is uh, sorry, y distance is already 20 mm it should be added so now what is the b and height here b is given 20 mm and height is given 60 mm so now we have to calculate a2 a2 is equal to 60 into 20 mm so we will get 1200 now s2 s2 directly you can calculate from the diagram you can given s2 is b by 2 that is also 10 mm now when you calculating s y2 you should be remember that you have to add 20 because this is above because you are taking reference from x line so this lies above 20 mm so now we have to add y2 is 20 mm plus and we are taking the x bar y bar y2 for the element 2 so you have to take 60 by 2 so you will get the value is 20 plus 60 by 2 so the value is 50 similarly we have to calculate for element 3 element 3 is given here so element 3 position is the same as diagram now we have to add 20 plus 60 because it is lies 60 above because two elements so now here y is given 20 again and x 3 have to calculate the area is same 120 into 20 so you get 2400 y3 when you calculating y3 you should be at 20 plus 60 has a has same as plus now we have to calculate y bar for element 3 that is h by 2 so h is 20 20 divided by 2 will get the value of 90 then s3 will get the 120 divided by 3 the value is 60 mm okay now finally we have to calculate math uh, general equation of uh, general equation of centroid that is given by x bar is equal to here we have three elements means a1 x1 plus a2 s2 plus a3 s3 divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 total area so similarly y bar also will get here same thing a1 y1 plus a2 y2 
plus a3 y3 divided by total area a1 plus a2 plus a3. Now you have to calculate if you put the values all the values here and you calculate this you will get the answer is final answer will get final answer will be so this is the final answer when you calculate and put the values all the values in this so the values will get x bar is 50 and y bar is 50 mm so this is the value of this is the values of x bar and y bar